What's up everyone? Slasher Movies here and I'm really really excited. I have literally been waiting all day for this. Literally the moment that I step into work today this trailer dropped and I couldn't watch it until now. But now I'm finally going to record my reaction to The Purge 3. Uh, which I'm actually here is now being titled The Purge Election Year. Which honestly I think it's kind of a cool title given the fact that we are in election year. So... I see what you're doing there, Universal, and I like it. Um, so we're going to jump on into this. You know, I was a big fan of the first Purge and the sequel, Anarchy, so yeah, I have high hopes for this. All right, so play. We played a lot of Purge games this evening. We have just one more. It's called Mommy's Choice. Which one of you will survive this year's Purge? The soul of our country is at stake. The purge targets the mm. poor and the innocent. The center's going to win. She's going to make real changes, too. It is a night that is defining our country. It's time to do something about that, Senator. Mm -hmm. The purge has to come to an end. You take a lot of risks, Senator. I have to. I was the only one in my family to survive. <laughs> Want me to apply for this position? I almost did something on purge night some years back. I want this night gone. I want men in all these rooms. We got eyes and ears on everything. Let's begin. This is your emergency broadcast I system announcing mask. the commencement of the annual purge. <laughs> At the siren, all crime, including murder, will be legal for 12 hours. Your government thanks you for your participation. Someone betrayed us. This is not a drill. <laughs> we have one goal right now. Survival. The mask are just fantastic. Come with us. Let's go for the drum. Understand what's at stake here. I did not, it, it shows way too much, especially in that last bit where we see like she's been like kidnapped or whatnot. I was like, nope, nope, nope. So obviously we know we're about to endure this whole ordeal and probably towards the end she'll get kidnapped and she's got to fight for her survival once again like she did, you know, 15 years prior to her incident as young. That, that was a big major spoiler. We did not need to see that. So thank you. Freaking Universal for spoiling the whole entire freaking movie. Ugh. Man, and I hate that because I know I'm probably going to see this trailer 150 times attached to every freaking single horror movie that I see prior to, you know, seeing this movie. So therefore, I'm going to have this move, this trailer in my head and I'm going to have the whole stupid movie spoiled. So, big complaint already off the bat is that this trailer spoils way too much. Two, though... I still think this movie looks pretty cool. Um, I'm a big Purge guy. I actually did not hate the first Purge. Like, I know a lot of people hate it, and I will admit, you know, it is. it does make you want to, like, it does feel like a little bit of a missed opportunity, but I still enjoyed it nonetheless. Um, flawed, but still entertaining. Anarchy, though, was fantastic across the board and had such a blast while watching that movie. And I don't know. This looks like it could be still a blast. I don't know if it can be as fun as Anarchy because Anarchy was just so lived up to the title itself. It was just pure chaos and anarchy. Um, I like how there's, you know, these movies feel sort of like anthology movies, to say the least. Um, you know, like how they're all like a different time frame. In a sense, you had the first one in a house, the second one was on the streets, and the third one's got to get a little political, which I think is fantastic. It's the perfect story to tell, especially in the year of an election year. I think it's going to be just, it's, ah, man. 
Um, so I think that's really cool. I thought this was going to be a prequel, like to the very first Purge. I don't know if they, they must have scrapped that at the last second because I'm sure that these movies don't take long to make at all. But man, I love the mask. I love the action. I love that. I have a feeling that I see, I think I saw an Uncle Sam and chilling in the background. So I, I just love the sort of like imagery that this movie's going to play with. It's going to be very demented and twisted. And these movies are dumb. I'll admit that they're dumb, but they're B-movie fun. So looking forward to checking that out. Um, so yeah, let me know in the comments section below what you thought of it. And until next time, I'm Slice Movier, and you guys have just been Slice.